What's going on, guys? Section H Gaming back uh, with the next part of our Mirage campaign. I believe this is part five. Uh, could be wrong. Um, haven't played it in a little while. So uh, let's go ahead and jump on in here. We're about to declare war on the uh, commune. Uh, and hopefully we can reunite India shortly after that. Just building a little bit of infrastructure here. Um, kind of helps supply my uh, forces when we're uh, going to war and immediately start um, here in the next couple of days. I need to go ahead and go down to speed four. And uh, let's check our stockpiles here. Got plenty of artillery, plenty of guns, plenty of support equipment. Um, planes, close air support, have some of that too. Have plenty of convoys. Um, I'm going to set my navy. What little navy I have here. I'm kind of a big uh, to do that, we have like no fuel either, but um, we're about to declare war, so hopefully we can take some of their fuel. And uh, let's see, we are nine days away from going to war with the uh, commune. Uh, they've also obviously got force on the border, I can't see anything there really. Um, even with the recon. Also, I need to hit my Gurkha rifles to have recon as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pause that. Let's do dive bombing. Um, just so we'll have that. And uh, still working on our mass mobilization doctrine. Uh, hmm. Go ahead and research Marines, I think. And uh, we'll, let's go ahead and get our Air Force uh, straightened out. So I can go ahead and combine my fighter wings. Go ahead and add the uh, F-50 class air support. It's not too, too bad. And uh, we'll start the war when, when that focus is uh, finished. So, uh, let's see, Treaty of Honolulu. Let's see what the U.S. looks like. Um, I think probably the Union States going to win. That's what it looks like. Pacific States is falling, and the Senecalists are just really not that powerful. It looks like. Uh, Okay, so we've incited a rebellion. Let's see where that rebellion is. Um, they are. Are this? Gonna go ahead and try to capture Majorum. Calcutta. Uh, I'll just send these guys down, um, and we'll see what we're gonna do here. Uh, assault wise, looks like pretty promising. Uh, looks like we're kind of winning across the board, and uh, we're obviously taking some of their land here as well. Uh, so let's see, capitulation-wise, what percentage they're already at since I took that. Um, okay, so Union of Burma's coming in. I'm calling all my allies, too. There's a lot of them now. Uh, they are not that far into capitulation yet. Uh, but we are moving through the country and ah. pulling guys off their front line, but these guys are not going to make it for very much longer. Uh, they're just going to be overrun, unfortunately. New England coming in. Uh, let's see what the New England flag is. I don't... It's the uh, Don't Tread on Me flag. Uh, interesting thing. Uh, send volunteers, German Empire. Wants to send three divisions to help fight the... Uh, Communists, syndicalists, whatever you want to call them. Quite nice of them. Let's see here. Go ahead and take uh, Construction 3. Maybe. It doesn't look like it's really having any issues. Let's see what their divisions look like. Uh, one of my leaders is a little sick. Uh, they actually really don't have good divisions at all. Um, I should just absolutely crush these guys, really. Go ahead and try to encircle all of them right here. 
uh, which would just be ludicrous if I cut all these guys off, but uh, we can definitely try it. They are. Need to pin these guys here, Arish. of course. Mejara. Ah. And uh, kind of collapsing up here on the top, but um, <laughs> we knew that was going to happen, obviously. But they're also collapsing here at the bottom, so uh, this looks like a quick cleanup, really. Ah, uh, this. And pin these guys here. It looks like. Ah. So they don't circle me. Ah. Then I need to take this and circle the southern troops. And once I do that, I think probably they'll just it'll just basically be over. Um, unless the commune troops are any better, uh, which I doubt they would be. Uh, so these guys are encircled. We're just going to go ahead and move in. Uh, burn them out of supply. Let's see what my natural focus can look like here. Uh, I guess we'll just move down the army tree again. As we're cleaning these guys up. I don't know if anybody likes to look at the casualties, but we'll go ahead and clean this up, see what we're uh, destroying here. So 47k right now, 48. We'll see what it looks like when we take this pocket out. You did a burn, but I lost 72. I lost 30k. Uh, which, like I said, this is not really. 59k. And the pocket is done, it looks like. Uh, so, yeah, that's well, that's like 40,000 guys right there. Uh, okay, so, as we're pushing in, I'm just going to you got it, put this on 5 speed. And, ah. uh,. I need to redraw my lines here on the bottom, actually. You uh, got So. Uh, this. That'll make it a little bit easier on me. Uh, we can uh, spend the political power there to get the uh, upgrade uh, to finish that. I'm really not going to focus on much until Cuba destroying the Reich pack. That's pretty pretty interesting. Uh, aircraft designer. Let's get Tata Air. Get the fighter bonus. Uh, and I need another. I'm about to need another airport. Really, I can't really support my guys anymore. Let's go ahead and see if we can't build one here. And uh, now we've got a little bit of planning bonus. Let's just go ahead and attack, try to crush these guys. You got uh, They've got me forced in up there. Uh, those guys went down, but I feel like they pulled a lot of guys off the front line. Really, let me get that sick encirclement down south with these guys. Probably get chilly. And uh, let's see what the Air Force looks like here. Really doing well, I think. Uh, getting a little bit of air XP. Let's see what the Navy's doing. Um, have not lost a ship yet. Uh, Canadian Navy here, too. Very powerful. Uh, let's go ahead and take modernizing the troops. And uh, go ahead and look at our stuff. Doing fine on that. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at the casualties because this war should be over quite soon. Um, hmm. Okay, so I don't. 130k to uh, 75. Um, so that's. It's not bad, and they are 46% towards capitulation. I feel like once I take their capital, they'll be almost all the way capitulated, though. Ah. And uh, let's just break through and see if we can't Make take the capital here. 
and encircle wow. what remains of their army. And it looks like the West Indies Federation with a naval invasion taking Calcutta, but um, that was they didn't take a port, which was uh, not great. Plan. I'm not so. I'm gonna try to cut wow. these guys here. not going that great for us in the north, um, but the south is really, we're just basically hammering them, so. I'm down. Uh, we're about to encircle these guys down here too, which will really shorten my front line. Go ahead and take mountain infantry too, get a little bonus there. And uh, basically losing my air force, uh, a score I built an airfield and not a radio tower. But I guess if this what it is, I'm gonna go ahead and invest 100 political power. Gotta uh, get some construction. Build an airport there, and uh, we'll take a few more arms. I really. I'm out of range of my Air Force now, uh, which is not great. And uh, another Canadian, I don't know why they're naval invading. I don't know. These guys are really long. They are. They just insist on naval invading this way. <laughs> And I mean, that just gets their guys cleaned up there. I mean, okay, so got this they pocket are. here. I'm gonna go ahead and annihilate those guys real quick, and then ah, this. Okay, so uh, the world is at war once again. It's been over a decade since the end of the first Belt Creek. Uh, the first, now there's a second Belt Creek uh, fought between the old enemies, France and its allies versus the German Empire. Both sides dread the return of the trench warfare, the scourge of the first Belt Creek. Uh, while Germany faces off against France, the Russians are their former lands hungry. Uh, as it is possible to exploit the situation. Uh, meanwhile, other factions such as Zantan and Japan are gearing up uh, to wage wars as well. Um, and Japan actually may take out the Russians. I don't know what the Russians will do here, but uh, if they declare war on Germany, I think it's probably over for them. So, go ahead and uh, take modernizing artillery. And uh, additional points in reserve. Here's my Air Force coming in now. Denmark's destroying the Reichspack. Very nice for us. And uh, now we have air support, so our pushes should be pretty good. And uh, this river may hold me up just a little bit. I have, like, I have a lot of divisions on these tiles, though. Uh, still doing pretty good on supply, all things considering. Gonna take uh, a little bit of attack bonus there. Fighting in Central America. <laughs> and yet again, another just random naval invasion by Canada. Uh, and we're just pushing these guys now. Uh, a lot of their stuff just unworked and um, really just hammered them. So they've lost about 300,000. Uh, we've lost 253,000. But I feel like most of that is just. 
like four naval invasions. I mean, part of it at least. Like, there's like a hundred thousand troops that like died like in four naval invasions by my allies. So, don't, like, this really wasn't a naval invasion war. We're just kind of walking up on them. Um, make sure we still have any superiority, which we definitely do. And uh, another just. And at least they have a port this time. That's good. So that'll pull, uh, that'll pull a lot of these guys back. They're fading there with another port, which is good. Um, it should pull a lot of the Burmese people back, uh, and then we can just push the front line like we're doing right now. And they they've got to be running a lot of supply unless they're just not trading with anybody. Uh, okay, so we're gonna take this little bonus for special forces. And uh, I think everything's looking pretty good now. We're just trying to take out their second capital. Uh, we took Calcutta. And uh, ah. Mejarao. They are. Now I'm just going to try a little cheeky encirclement here. Hopefully, my guys keep up. Uh, direct ground support, we're going to go ahead and take that, make our Air Force just a little bit stronger. Uh, getting close to the next level of mass mobilization, which is nice. Um, looks like Africa fighting here. It looks like, too, there's just, I mean, <laughs> Kaiserite Redux, and even Kaiserite, I mean, there's just fighting all over the world. It's pretty crazy. Uh... Pretty crazy indeed, and it's it gets involved, so that's that's quite nice. I like this model a lot. Let me go ahead and take a large front offensive. I think. Uh, let's go ahead and spend the power to get uh, that. Let's go ahead. I need to work in some destroyers. Advanced light ship home, I think, is going to be good for us. Uh, active sonar as well. So that way we can start our navy and we can do a little bit more. Okay, so we took the comment here. Uh, I just really like to take all the states. I'm to pass one time, and then now I can take all the states. And uh, we'll hit done there. It's still at war. I think with the comment. Um, I have a truce with them, unfortunately, so... <laughs> they have a truce with them, not with me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just justify on the Union of Burma and get them out of the way. Then I'm going to go to the south and uh, try to unify uh, India. They are. Which will be really nice. Um... Uh, Okay, so the time is moving to reclaim Europe. The date has finally come. The date with the birthright will be reclaimed and the year liberated by uh, the thousands of Canadian troops laying on the beachhead and pushed their way to London. The exiles eager to see their homes once again. The Atala is inches away from reclaiming its birthright, uh, reclaiming their nation and their pride, and the native people of England forced uh, from their homes during the revolution can hear the chimes of big men, the chimes they have not heard for years. God save the Queen, God help the Atala. Um, so obviously the war is just starting, so it's not like they're like landed in England right now or anything, but um, that'll be uh, yeah. an interesting to see how that goes uh, early on while we're still uh, subjugating this uh, part of the world. And uh, let's go ahead and add a few dockyards. Let me if I had, can I do this already? Yeah, I can take that, but I'd rather not right now, I guess. Okay, I'm going to cancel justification on the commune for now. And I'm going to justify war goal down here. 
just if I were go here. And uh, just if I were go here, take 200 days, that'll take a little while. Um, but that's okay. Uh, let's go ah. put these guys here. Delete both those first, of course. And then put these guys here. They are. Put these guys here. Go ahead and strategic redeploy. Rise authority looking uh, quite thick right now. Quite, quite a beefy boy. It looks like. Uh, and uh, we actually have quite a few factories ready to go and some good resources. Uh, let's do two, one, one. Actually. Need to get a little bit more support. Uh, not aggression pact with the German Empire. We can do that for sure. And uh, Portugal just kind of hanging out, getting ready for whatever kicks off. Entente, uh, the Entente and the Reichspack plan to meet. Uh, with both the Entente and the Reichspack now worth a third of the nationality, the Kingdom of Canada has called for a conference between their leaders and Halifax in order to discover the population. Uh, pop possibility of cooperation and the German Empire has agreed while it's currently unclear how the cooperation would go uh, it seems worth the attempt representative uh, from the Raj Authority has been asked to attend okay so we're heading over there I need some garrison troops just kind of uh, probably going to do cavalry uh, for the garrison guys. Uh, and uh, probably going to train 24 divisions of them. And uh, we're just going to kind of keep those guys stationed uh, stationed around the area. Uh -oh. To try to help with things such as... Uh, Um, garrison and things like that. Sorry, I was reading something else. Uh, so we need to go ahead and put military governor on the commune. Uh, oops, I did not mean to skip that. I apologize. How much time do we have left here? Quite a bit. Uh, not aggression pack from Cuba. Uh, they're going to send me some stuff. Swedish state. Uh, French national state uh, uh, renounces Alsace Lorraine. Uh, shockingly, the French delegation have agreed after much discussion with the Germans to publicly renounce their claim on Alsace Lorraine. If the Germans agree, Halifax con uh, conference's treaty of cooperation considered humiliation of all for France to do so. It speaks on how much uh, they want the treaty uh, to help with their return to the continent. Okay, so these guys are sending me some stuff, which is nice. And uh, we're going to root out resistance uh, here, I think. With our spy. Uh, I need to actually... Get another agent, I believe. And our stability is uh, down a little bit because we're at war, uh, which, I mean, is part of it. But when I unite India, I think it should go back up. 
All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here for now. Uh, we took over the commune, which is very nice. Uh, and now we're going to work on unifying the actual continent of India. Uh, I'm sorry, not the continent, the country of India. <laughs> My bad. Uh, and then we're going to see what it's going to look like in the next playthrough. I'm going to go ahead and take the south out, and then we're going to work on uh, the commune of Burma. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.